Does technology isolate or connect? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. I gotta admit, this is one of those topics on which I've had a fairly major partial turnaround. As you can imagine, the last few years have really caused me to reconsider some of the aspects in which technology is affecting um, individual relationships and society as a whole. I am still fundamentally optimistic about what technology can do. I'm not necessarily as optimistic about some of the people using it. One of the scenarios that I run into from time to time is I will hear from somebody who is having a problem with their computer, various problems, random stuff. They come to me for help, of course, and I'm able to help them, which is fantastic. Sometime later, you know, I hear, in fact, that the problem has been resolved, but not only that, but because the problem has been resolved, this individual is now able to connect with a distant family member or deal with something in their community that they weren't able to deal with before or just improve their relationship with other people online, both near and far. That's something that I love to hear about because to me, that is one of the promises of the internet. And it's a promise that in a lot of ways is in fact being delivered on today. Another scenario are just communities. Communities form online now that probably would not have formed 30 or 40 years ago. Uh, and I can say that from direct experience that this is the case. For example, for around 20 years now, my wife and I have held what we refer to as the Pacific Northwest Corgi Picnic. Basically have a lot of folks come over to our house with their dogs. Everybody has a good time. That community exists only because of the internet. Some of our closest friends now are our closest friends because of the internet because of our contacts in these communities and because of the relationships that have developed online and in many cases transitioned to in-person. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff still happening online. We talk to these people almost every day online, but they've become our close friends and we do see them in person. Again, that would not have happened without technology. Now, Got to say, on the other hand, clearly there's a lot that's been written in the recent years about the negative impacts of technology. I'm not going to rehash it all because I'm sure it's already coming to mind for you, even as I was discussing the things that I find positive about it all. Social media probably is the biggest topic and the biggest bone of contention because of its ability, if you will, to, well, allow the wrong communities to form and allow those communities to express their ideas to a wider audience than ever, whether their ideas be uh, positive or abhorrent, whether their information is true or false. Yes, I get it. And ultimately, right now, I do not have a solution for that. Not something where I can wave some technological magic wand and make things better. What I do believe, fundamentally, is that the solution is not technology. The solution is people. Technology doesn't isolate people. People isolate people. The fact that we've been exposed to ideas that we find abhorrent, yeah, those kinds of things are going to cause us to distance ourselves from the source of those ideas. Depending on 
just exactly the severity of that difference of opinion, well, that's where a lot of this disconnection comes from. It has nothing to do with the technology and everything to do with the people involved. And yes, I know algorithms, etc., play into this, but fundamentally, this is a people problem, not really a technology problem. So, in light of the fact that this is a people problem, not a technology problem, in light of the fact that I don't really have a clue as to how to solve anything, what do I recommend? I recommend, honestly, that you get connected. Find your people. Learn the tools. Explore email, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, whatever tool makes sense, and potentially whatever tool your peers are working with to develop a stronger relationship with your people. Write an email rather than lamenting that nobody writes a letter anymore. Emails are letters, just delivered a different way. Trust me, whoever it is you are sending to will appreciate an email that contains everything a real letter would have as long as it actually shows up, as long as you actually take the time to write it. Join an online discussion group or a meetup group or whatever about some of the things that you're interested in. That's how the Corgi thing happened. That's how other things have happened. That's a way to meet more of your people. Basically, embrace new ways of connecting to the people in the world around you. Make a difference. Be it to someone, perhaps an overseas grandchild or relative or whatever, who has never, who has never heard your voice, or to some cause using technology to make the world better. This is what I try to do with some of my volunteer efforts. Step outside of your own information bubble. This is stupid hard. It is really hard to do, but it is, I think, so incredibly important. Rather than branding the others as evil, try to understand where they're coming from. Learn more about those with opinions different than your own. That information is out there too. And then share what you learn with others. That will connect you with even more people, more than you can imagine. In a sense, that's what I've been doing with Ask Leo for the last 20 years. That's what I've been doing recently with other publications that I put out. I'm sharing things with other people. And as a result, a community forms. So I hope that helps you think a little bit about technology's role in our future. I mean, even in the face of headlines that scream fake news and beware your privacy, I honestly remain more excited than ever about the potential for technology to help us solve the problems we're facing. Yes, I understand there is a massive possibility of technology also hurting us. That's why I say this is a people problem. We have to take responsibility to use our technology properly. Hope you found that interesting. For updates, what I'm sure will be lots of comments, links to related articles, and more, visit askleo.com 18781. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.